from the trading desk of dailyforex.com. This is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming November 28th Forex session. In front of you is the Euro dollar pair and as you can see we had a negative session on Tuesday the 27th. This was immediately after a hammer on Monday which should have signaled uh, growing strength and growing pressure to the upside at roughly 130. As you can see though 130 held true and we have this outside candle. It's barely an outside candle on the outside and it on an outside candle you, you prefer to see it close closer to the bottom but it says the same thing. Essentially you are looking at a break of a hammer's bottom and that's normally a, a bearish sign that that's what they call in, in Japanese candlestick language a hanging man so this is a negative sign and if we manage to break down below the lows of Tuesday there's a really good chance that we'll come back down and try to find the bottom of what I see as a larger consolidation area that being said on a break of that Tuesday low I will definitely be short of this market right now uh, the market will be choppy and it will be headline driven so it will be difficult to hang on to trades for any great length of time uh, for those of you who have the uh, options or the uh, the ability you may want to trade options perhaps binaries or something like that um, if you also have uh, the ability to trade the FXE which is an basically it's an ETF that follows the euro in relation to the dollar you may want to do that as well to take a little of the leverage and, and therefore the the P&L swings out of your account. However, if you have the if you only have the ability to play the spot market, the one thing that does jump out at me on this chart is the fact that we hit a bit of a brick wall at 130. So a stop above 130, uh, you know, a little while, uh, a little bit above, allowing for a slight margin of error may be the way to go if we can break down. And again, if we break down, I do think that the bearish momentum will take over. And even with this nice massive rally could send the markets lower. In a risk-off environment it will go lower and that makes sense. We have the fiscal cliff in the United States and of course the debt issues in Europe that just continue uh, basically forever as far as we can tell. So having said that there is a chance that a negative headline comes out and since it's pair much lower. So that is what I'm watching uh, for the uh, Wednesday November 28th session. Thank <music> you.